and welcome to another evening of me trying to do my thing. And tonight, we are going to be detecting, detecting, we're going to help solve some crimes. So far in this game, I've spent most of my time trying to solve the crime of the low bank balance that my detective starts with. So let me turn this funk down for the moment. It's going to be a good time. So, at any rate, we're going to do some detective shit. We're going to do some detecting. That's that's what we do. Uh, we are we are detectives. So I need to fire up Shadows of a Doubt and then turn on streamer mode right away because they're like, hey, are you a streamer or something? And I'm like, sometimes. And they go, well, if you're a streamer, what you really, really need to do is make sure that that streamer mode is off because all of the vaporwave-ish kind of music stuff in the background is not set for streamers. So while I set this son of a bitch up and get things going, let's check my sound and make sure everything is going to be fine. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good time. So let's make sure that all the things are set. And let me go into the settings and make sure that the audio music... Ah, you see? You almost got me. You almost got me. You almost got me, but you didn't. I'm fast. So what we need to do is... Uh, yep, that's not a good one. That's the one I was doing on the... WBPL 76 stream. This game will be uh, broken very quickly. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go. You ready for main screen turn on? We're going to we're going to main screen turn on. Here we go. We are away on the main screen. Thank you, Mike, for helping me get the stream deck. We're going to create a new game. Sandbox. We're going to generate a city. We're going to do large. I'm told the larger the city, the more fucked up the game gets. So this is cool. I need to. Uh, oh. Mm, shoulders and back. There we go. Oh, man. Don't get old. Do yoga while you're young and still flexible. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't do that shit. But stay flexible before you start hurting. <laughs> Oof. Audio seems normal if low. Low? Well, I don't believe you on that because it's showing that I'm Almost to the top of the mixer, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it goes. Large takes too long for your computer to generate. You know what? Let's just do a medium then, so we don't break things on stream. But we can still, uh, yeah. Let's call this uh, Turdberg uh, because the city's a shit town. Because I, I, and once in a D and D game, I referred to uh, the pocket dimension of dread that uh, this guy. This guy named Strahd lives in as Shit Steinberg, and so Turdberg is the spiritual successor. So we're gonna go play. Uh, my game. My name is Jim Bant. I used to play as Ronald Easter when I first got this as a nod to boat bomber. So let's go ahead and have some fun. All right, let's do a good, good, good. Uh, oh man. Mm. Nothing but cracks, snaps, and pops. So let's have fun. Shit Steinberg. All right, so this this is a game where you play as a detective in this really shitty uh, alternate alternate uh, past, which is some dying world made up of infinite tiny islands and people stuck in interesting, if quizzical lives. Uh, and you you can solve murders. Uh, you know, you can solve murders. You could do that. And I, you could have just called it Cleveland. No, I've been to Cleveland. It's got a lot of art deco in it. If you want to see like shit that looks like the Enclave lobby from the Poseidon oil rig, go to downtown Cleveland. It's good times. Um, Stride did not get revenge. I actually uh, played one of my best gambits, and Diggs was with me in that game because I lied to the DM and I lied to Strahd. I never told Strahd my real name. I lied to the rest of the party the whole time. They never knew my character's real name. So they could never really get a feel for where he was in the world. It was kind of fun. All right, so step one, 6 p.m., Monday, January 2nd. It was a dry day in the foggy city. People were hanging their squares out. Is that is that just handkerchiefs? Is are they just all right? So well, just uh, first step first. Let's go ahead and take a look at the city here. <laughs> just gonna be like, uh, all right. 
I mean, that's a little weird. Are they just, like, hanging their menus out to dry? Are they, uh... Did they spill... Did they spill coffee, or... I mean... Alright, fine. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and start looking at what we got here, which is not much. I have $100. $100 is not a lot of money uh, in this game, but it's enough to buy a passport to freedom. And the passport to freedom, my friends, is called lockpicks. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see how many stores there are, because the stores are fairly stupid. I think there's stores in here somewhere, but sometimes stores will not spawn, which is weird. Uh, I've also run into other weird things, but what we need to do is we need to go to City Hall, you know what I mean? We're just gonna, we're gonna walk through the gritty city. Ah, the Red Dragon. The Rouge Iguana. Come on down to the Rouge Iguana, where everybody knows your name. Bam, 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 bam. What? Ass Knuckle Salt and Pepper? I know there's something in front of it, but I'm not reading it because this is more funny. Look, ass knuckle. Get out of my way, ass knuckle. See, that sounds cool. Yeah, ass knuckle. Fuck you, ass knuckle. Mm. Join the enforcers. No thanks. I'll be running from them most of the time. All right. Let me just open this here. Uh, eh. There we go. And we're just gonna walk in here and see, look, they sell a uh, home invasion kit. All I gotta do is pick these up. Check it out, I get 65 lot picks now. Now, what we're gonna do next is, uh-huh, 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 yep. Uh, is that candy? Is that yours or? All right, just wondering. Ma'am. All right, good day. I'm just gonna continue. Uh -huh. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a really good time, and uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just help myself solve a case. You know, there's a case you gotta solve. You gotta solve cases as a detective. And you know what? We're gonna start. We're gonna start start solving the case of the broke detective right now. We're gonna we're gonna plot and solve the case of the broke detective. How's that sound, huh? Yeah, ass knuckles a pretty good sounding insult. It sounds like something just it's made up. It's like an eight year old insult where they're like, ooh, dummy head or whatever. Ass knuckle. It means nothing. All right. So, there you will see the <laughs> municipal crime go away gun and the cameras. And in between, these are connected by wires and stuff. And that's neat. Anyways, what I'm going to do is just start stealing things. Uh, nope. All right, we're going to I'm going to I'm going to solve, you know, some some mysteries. Like, oh, Let's solve one mystery right here. This mystery is very simple. What's under this mat? Oh, nothing. It's not a good mystery. Oh, what about this one? No, no, nothing under that mat. No, 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 nothing under that mat. So, let's keep investigating. What's this? A package? Oh, all right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What is that? What? What is this? A battery? No, I don't need that. Alright, so there's a camera right there, and the camera is looking away, so I'm just gonna go ahead and help myself do a little bit of this. Oh, I just. Oh, no, 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 I wasn't doing anything. Nothing. I, I work here. I am a worker. Uh, da 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 da. Just inspecting things and, you know, mystery solved. Uh, the security system works just fine. Alright, locked. Uh huh. Wow. Wow, this is a bright fucking hallway. Could you imagine being hung over and walking out, like, of your apartment? You know, you're just, like, hung over as shit. You've had, like, a four snooters of whiskey right before bed, and then you're like, Ugh, and then you're just faced with the sun? Oh, God. All right, is there any camera here? No, there's just, well, there's that one. 
That that one. All right. We're gonna have to play games. Oh, look at this. This is a floor with other stuff on it. All right. Well, that's no problem. Let's just go ahead and help ourselves. Oh no. All right. Do 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 do. Oh, nothing. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong here. Oh, okay, got it. Just inspecting doorknobs, you know. Uh, just inspecting that door. Shit, there's a murder. Son of a bitch. All right, I... Ah! Right as I was getting into work. Okay, what's the murder? Uh-huh. Why did this room go dark? Okay. Crime scene, huh? All right, fine. I'll go solve a murder. You know what? I could probably use some lunch money, you think? Yeah, I, I could probably use some lunch money before I go solve a murder. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Dice? No. What do we got? Ooh, six bucks. Uh-huh. 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 What is this? Supernatural darkness? The room? The fuck? All right. Having those scissors. I'm taking that cider. All right. These are mine. Look, I'm fine. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go find where that murder is. Okay, 803 Mahama Towers, but I first need to get downstairs and then go over to the, get a form, go get the someone was uh, murdered form, I guess. You know, got to let that evidence ripen a little bit. I help myself to some cider in case I get tired or bored. I can get really drunk. Oh wait, that's the basement. You can tell when you're entering the basement because you get like normal walls and then it's just like knife fight city shit within four feet. It's like, oh, you're in the basement. All right, let me close the door. All right, now, now we need to go south. Let's go to the city hall and then we'll go find this thing or whatever, murder or something, you know. <sighs> you know, you just wanna try to solve the detective's case of why I have no money. And there's a murder or something. All right. Oh, case tray. Where's that guy going? You think he's going to the murder? Yeah, all right. What's he doing? Why are you just holding a gun? Are you taking a shit? What's your deal? All right, I mean, that that's a weird flex. Okay, so, uh, 803 Mahama Tower. All right, fine. What's this one? Mahama Tower, there we go. And plot route. Done and done. Oh, I know I can take out the junction boxes. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh boy. If you don't mind one second, I'm gonna reach over to my other screen while this is uh, doing its thing. And I'm gonna pop chat out so I can read it closer to my eyeball, cause I am old, you know? I'm one of those, I'm one of those old people where I have to look at things that are like right in front of me. There we go. There we go. All right. Main scene turn on. Now we've let that crime scene uh, marinate a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. The Tuesday night stream is very low energy and supremely low effort. It's a nice, uh, you know, counter to, uh... This thing called larger film stuff. Oh, I know. I've done some accidental fun times on that. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, yep. Ask Inland Empire what to do. All right, fair. All right, there's been a murder here. That guy's got a trench coat. Okay, this is what? 80803? Was it? Is that the murderer? Are you are you a murderer? You look like that person. Who's who who are you? Are you the murderee? Are you the murdered murdered person? Unknown citizen. Alright, well. Unknown citizen. Talk to. What's your name? Keep your nose out of my business. Well, that's not nice. Uh, nothing. All right. Uh, got any spare change? I wouldn't give you the time of day. Oh yeah. Well. Uh, goodbye. 
by, he says. Later. Yeah, well, you're outside of a crime scene. And by the way, time of day? Let's see. Time of day. Let me check. Time of day is... It's 7.23. That's about time to go fuck yourself. So, let's see. Where'd the cop go? Oh. They're just gonna stand in the corner there. And look very... You know... All right. I'm just gonna... Are they, are they paying attention, you think? No? All right, I'll just help myself in here. And we're in the crime scene. Da-da-da! See, this is what happens when you're smart. Okay, let's see. Oh. What do we got? Let's start finding some, some fingerprints. And a murder. Ooh, look at that murder! It's a murder! All right, let's see. Uh, examining the body. It appears the victim has been poisoned. I can determine the time of death. It's between 1730 and 1845. Monday, January 2nd, 1979. This is the guy that was outside. This guy, right? This, this guy was the guy outside. So let's keep that in mind. This is the guy who was just outside like I saw nothing. Oh, can I talk to the body? No, I'm not a necromancer, but we'll find out. Uh... Let's see. Take a print. Yeah, let's get a print of this person so we can figure out who the fuck they are. Okay. Uh huh. Let's 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 search them. Let's find out what else we find. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. I already got that. Anything else? Just making sure. You know, it's it's one of those things where. Mm -mm, no. All right. Let's uh, let's inspect the person. Unknown citizen. So here's our victim. Uh huh. All right. Likely story. Let's take their print so we can figure out what kind of print they got. Just making sure I got it because sometimes I've had it not. So they have a type A fingerprint. Type A fingerprint. Oh man. Oh, is this candy wrapper or candy? Is this candy wrapper or candy? Is this candy wrapper or candy? I'm gonna kojak this shit. It's it's just a wrapper. <sighs> All right, so bunch of type A fingerprints and then type B fingerprints. Look at this shit. What do they mean, Mason? What do the fingerprints mean? All right, there we go. Yeah, it's 1979. We could call Colombo. I thought he went off the air by what 78. I don't remember. All right, well, let's just throw that. You know what? Uh, what else you got? Oh, work rota. Yeah, inspect. Uh-huh, we got to pin that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samantha, work rota accountant. Nine to... What terrible handwriting. All right, done with that. What's in here? An ashtray, huh? What's it mean? Aha, purse. I knew it. I'll just have this. What's this? An organ donor, huh? Well then. Samantha Richardson, eh? 1946. Well, we got her information. We know what she is now. Now let's look in here. Fingerprint type B. Lots and lots of these. Fingerprint type B? Uh-huh. What else? Because there is another person here. I need to find out who the fuck they are. Another fingerprint type B. What does it mean? What does it mean? All right. Oh, what's that? What's that say? Another work, Rona? Lewis Page. That might be the other person here. That might be the other individual. A box cutter, huh? All right, scented candles, eh? That's what I thought. Old wheel bourbon, well, that's evidence. Ooh, candy. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, well. Oh, it didn't break. Good. Eh. Eh. Okay, that broke. Okay, let's... Eh. There we go. I always love clicking my candlesticks on. Oh, cool. VHS. In 79. Ooh, money. That's probably related. Beta blockers. No, I'm good. 
Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my, my inventory is full. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's see. A hairpin. Got it. All right. Let's, let's dig through their personal effects. Tobacco. Cigarette butt. That's a good question. Fingerprint type B. Mmm, that's interesting. Fingerprint Samantha Richardson. So this other person was here and smoked a cigarette next to the safe and then put it out there. Looks like the other person also got in the safe. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. A wrench. It's not the poison. Uh, let's inspect. LP. 5418. Alright. Let's see. Lighter business card. Uh-huh. Lewis Page. Seems to be the other person here. Wool? You just keep wool? I... I... Alright. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Fine. Alright. Let's get into here. And then we go into our note here and see if we got our handy dandy note. Oh, huh, yeah, let's just try to put that in. Uh oh. Uh huh. What's that? A diamond? Oh, that's definitely related to my case. Hold on. Let me, uh. Let me, let me make some room for evidence. Uh, for the case of the, you know, the, the thing. All right, I better scan all these things, of course. Uh huh. Yep. Well, yep. Another type B. Yeah, it's that criminal's bourbon. I knew I should have taken it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I knew that was the uh that was related to the criminal. I knew it was related to the criminal. Absolutely related to the criminal. You know, it's one of them things where the criminal just obviously obviously related. What does it all mean, right? Yeah. I mean this is this is easily that I mean, it's, it's... Oh, shit, the cop's outside. He, he heard the, uh... What's he doing? Oh, he's gonna come in here because he heard me whip the bourbon against the wall. Man, he heard me pull a Captain Horatio shit. All right, all right, all right, don't worry. All right, let's just... Let's just... We're in a murderer's... Murdered person's house that has a skull on the thing. All right. No? Not gonna bother... All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's just hide in here. Oops. Okay. All right. Let's let's get in. Let's get in here. Uh, give me this. All right. Let me just put that down. Oh shit! All right. It's too much noise. Nothing in here. Huh? Huh? Man, they have a lot of fucking pipe wrenches. All right. Let me uh. Inventory full. Oh, but come on. I don't want to have to put my liquor down. And my fabric scissors. Ah. Uh. You know, it's... There, I just threw my box cutter. And a diamond. Alright. So, anyways, uh, it's, it's about just the little things, ain't it? Scented candles, of course. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, 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 there we go. Excellent. Alright, let's get some information. Well, he's an interesting guy. Uh-huh. Mail. Let's see what we got. Uh-huh. Do 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 do. Uh about later. Hi, honey bunny. Finally got the travel approved. And don't worry, see you later. Lunch date. And then Sam. Alright, so let's see. Lewis Page to Samantha. And 407 and 555. Interesting. Interesting. Your reservation. Confirm your rolling reservation at Midnight Magpie Barbecue. We look forward to welcoming you every Saturday. Champagne on arrival. What the hell is this? Alright. Look, I know the first thing we need to do is we need to get out of this murdered person's house, but only after we read all their data. Which is handily in this box. Well, time to read files. Let's see what's in here. A suspicion factor of seven? How dare you? That doesn't seem even real. Uh-huh. Let's see. From the desk, blah, 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 beta blockers, high blood pressure. Wow. Well, anyways, let's just keep reading these. 
and just committed all the memory like data from Star Trek. Enhance, enhance, enhance. All right, I read everything I need to. Now, one of the things you may not know, but uh, on the way out, Samantha Richardson, hmm? on the way out, you will typically check all the doors and stuff. And as you check the doors, man, they just leave candy everywhere. A box of nails. The fuck? All right. Let's see who's the criminal. Oh. What's in there? Another fingerprint type B. I need to figure out this guy's fucking fingerprints. I need to figure out where his fingerprints are. I need to find a copy of his ID. A power drill? Interesting. Yeah, there's this other person is the only other person here. I'm wondering. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm just I'm just wondering what you guys think of this whole uh, murder thing. Screwdriver. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, yeah. No poison, nothing. Let's check the uh, trash. Let's check that trash. I once uh, drank a whole bunch of bourbon and then threw up in the trash. That wasn't good. Oh, there's her work ID. I haven't found the other person's ID, but they're not here, so obviously not. Uh, there's a gun. Is that... That's detergent. There's a gun. Guns don't do anything in this game. You just pistol whip people. Which, I mean, that's doing something. But it's not enough. Wasn't there another profile on the computer? Yeah, there was. One second. Hot dog. Oh, cheeseburger, hot dog, Jim Stetter, tea, Chateau d'Arc, and bourbon. Greg's going to be mad I pronounced it that way. Well, let's see. All right. Cheeseburger, French stuff. Yeah, let's get on the other computer profile. I know I'm very not methodical or procedural in this. All right, let's log off and... Uh, Let's try to get... Oh, that's right. I didn't look at Samantha's emails. But what is her password? It's not... It could be Gladiator School. You don't know that. All right, let's see. Five, four... Wow. What password is that? It's, it's like f f 0521? All right, good enough. Good enough. All right, yep, 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 yep. All right, now we're going to get into their emails. Okay, let's see. Uh-huh. Okay, we got more information. Wait, mail. All right, let's take a look, shall we? Nothing. Man, they, they even get mail scams there. Pick up milk on the way home. Ew. All right. Okay. Well, the next thing I need to do... Oh, hello, officer. I live there. Next thing I need to do is I need to go upstairs and find where the recording room is as the camera shit because I'm going to find out who the fuck murdered this lady by who came through. And if I can find out who did that, well, hmm. And on the way, I might find some booze or something. Don't worry about it. And look, it's Big Red. Hi. Ah, Cuckoo. Excellent. As soon as I say hi, good timing. Man, can you imagine being on one of those... Oh, wow. Huh. That is a weird building. Each of these buildings is weird, but, you know, sometimes you find neat things, because you can be like, oh, what's here? Oh, key. See? You can just come back later and just let yourself in. You never know what fine little things you'll find in your little adventures. And you never know when you might suddenly run into something you need, like you have the key for a door. And then if you if you play that game really well and just 
run around and grab things. I'm thinking it's the husband in this. Because I'm not finding any other fingerprints. I didn't find anything. Oh. See? It's just one of those things. Just that easy. Help yourself to keys on the floor, right? And here we go. So. Oh. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, nope. Not, nothing suspicious here. Do, 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 do. Dum, ba, dee, bee, bee, bee. And, and, um. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. You think the power drill did it? I don't know. I agree with you, Greg. If I can't find anybody else, I'm assuming it's the other person who lives here. But what's funny in this game is you can just let the murderer keep murdering people and be like, aha, I caught ya. No big deal. But yeah, floor keys, kind of an important find. You know, it's like Space Station 13, which is a game I actually have a lot of experience in. And playing Space Station 13 taught me to play this game, really. It's like, oh, there's resources everywhere. You just need to have them. All right. First step first. I know a lot of people talk about stuff with security cameras or what have you, but I think that's unnecessary. All you got to do is turn the lights off, and most of these security cameras don't know what the fuck to do. And then you're just like, haha, they don't work in the dark. They never figured out light amplification in this setting. So all you gotta do, really, is just not get caught. Easier said than done. And then uh, just help yourself. Hello, Mr. Train. Thank you. Oh, he has a bat. Hi. No, he doesn't have a bat. He just has a... Good evening, he says. Faced away from me with a broom. And he's locking the door. All right. All right. I Okay, you know what? Let's let's try this another way. Yep, just got to Oh. Oh, all right. Sorry. Uh yeah, talk to. Uh-huh. Evening, what's your name? As if I tell you? Oh, all right. Well, it looks like I need a distraction. Yes? Uh-huh. Okay, watch this. Uh They're sitting there like I need to uh, what is it? I'm like, I don't know, but, uh, booze! What was that? What, what was that? Somebody in the lobby? Wow. Okay. Just... Alright. I... Oh. Okay, on your way then. Okay. Uh... Anyways, it, it, you'll you'll eventually just learn to start smashing doors and breaking stuff. It's just kind of what you do. A little bit of the old razzmatazz. All right. There we go. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, money. What do we got here? Ooh, paperclip. What do we got here? Sharpener. No thanks. What do we got here? Hairpin. Yep. Okay. Um, ba -dum -ba -ba -bum, ba -dum -ba -dum oh, blueprints. Yeah, I'll take those. Megamite? That seems like Marmite. No thanks. Oh, I could have crawled in. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Aha, see? See, all I gotta do is just read everybody's information all the time. And then you can figure out, you know, who's who. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Aaron Smith. Nope. 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 All right. Employee details, huh? Oh, look. There's their name. And it's not them. So it's not the person who works here. Excellent. Done and done. All right, let's see. What next? Matchbook, matchbook. God, a lot of smokers in this setting. Paper stack, uh-huh. Lighter. Space Station 13, I'd be taking that. Not in this game. 
tobacco. Good lord, does everyone just smoke while they're smoking? Good Christ. Oh yeah, there's the key for the management. Nice. So I can just let myself in anytime I need. Alright. Let's, uh... Alright. Let's do this. Uh -huh. Come on! Fire up, you old piece of shit. I remember computers like this. They were always fun. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have any other passcodes. Alright, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. By that I mean, probably wait for the next murderer. So I whipped a bottle at the wall. That made me feel better. And I know they were at 805. Here we go. Yeah, two cigarettes are better than one. Just fucking, you know, light it up. Yeah, it's, I mean, this is, a, this is a 20th century tale. Everyone smokes. Uh, uh, -bum 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 -bum. So there is a guy. You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. It's not smart. You're gonna hate it. It's gonna be great. It's not the smartest thing I've ever done. But it could be. Alright, let's... Unknown citizen, huh? Talk to. Evening, what's your name? Nothing to do with you. Wow, names are for friends, huh? Nothing. Wow. You know this person? Uh, them? Yeah, I saw them today and, uh huh. Right, right. They were nearby Dynasty, huh? Yeah, I'll need to go get a code breaker, probably, to get in there. They look mad about something. Interesting. Do you know this person? I saw them somewhere around. Okay. Interesting. Got any spirit change? Oh man. Well, he seems not to be a friendly person. Ass knuckle salt and pepper. Come on down to Ass Knuckle Salt and Pepper and get yourself a double bourbon steak with an extra size of deep fried pumpkin bombs. No, it's uh oh wow. Is this place called Busy? Wow. What a name for a restaurant or a store. What kind of business do you have? Very busy, very busy business. Couldn't stop doing business. Ugh, so busy, the business I'm doing. I might murder everyone in the building. I don't know yet. Now that I'm indoors, I won't freeze. I'm no longer a bum. Alright, so we have all these fingerprints. And we have this unknown person. Don't know who they are. I know who the other person kind of is. Lewis Page. Which, we do have that information. We don't have his fingerprints. Now, Lewis Page is potentially the other player here. The other person in this game that I need to take out. This is the real criminal man. He's a crime, not player as an actual player per player, but you know what I mean. Player in our little game, as it were. A workhouse, industrial plant. Let's see. All right. Oh, yeah. A, a food restaurant? Plot route. We're going to go to clinic and put robot parts in us. Ah, yes. Someone will be bought to j brought to justice. That, that sounds exactly... That sounds exactly like a, pr a promise I would make if I was the chief of police. Someone will be brought to justice. This police stuff is hard. Yeah, Delta would have leveled the block. Must be the rats. Keep walking, you creep. Okay, fine. Fine. There's no way to treat your, your best guy. Maybe. Is this a pharmacy? Alright. Hello, unknown person. Oh. Inspect? Alright, got it. That's the code to the office? Okay. That's fine. They're like, hello! How can I help this evening? And I'm like, you can't. Unless you know how to... There's a lot of restaurants in here. What is this? Supermarket? I need to find a pawn shop. 
I also need to go buy a code breaker, so let's go do that. Someone will be brought to justice. If this was Delta Squad from the Magistrata Mundanus, oh my sweet baby Jesus, would this be a bad time. Everyone would be dead. Psychic powers would destroy the Materium. Diggs would have leveled the whole city trying to find something. Depp would have leveled the other half trying to shoot something. Alright, let's install a sync disk. Do I not have any? I thought I picked one up. Oh, I got the upgrade vial. That's right. Let's go sell that, uh, let's go sell the, uh, thing then. I'm still figuring this game out. I've only played it a bit, and it has been a bit janky. Yeah, how can you help me? Who did it? Who killed them? All right, let's run by some of these stores and figure out what's in them, you know. Now, I found out that some of the stores are very odd, uh, and that, you know, they keep very, very strange hours. Uh, they keep very odd hours, but I'm gonna get Lewis Page's information and then I'll figure out if he's the criminal. What's this place? Ink Singer? All right, ah, yes. Again, good God. I know that they're trying to say the world is dark and light, but oh, my eyes. All right, fine. Good day, madam. I would like to sell random things. Okay. What can I get you? Demons in the watershed district? No, there need to be something alive to turn into demons. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, I'd like to buy something, please. And by buy, I mean sell. Here's the diamond I found. I also found this at a murder scene. Anyways, purchase, uh, hammer birthday. That ought to work. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm not gonna make this store mad at me, but normally when I wanna rob a store in this game, I just turn the light off, and when they run over to try to turn the uh, light back on, I just take everything off the shelf. And then I'm like, hello, I would like to sell you this wristwatch I found, right? People don't really like that, but I mean, eh. Okay, let's see. Now, we know that Lewis Page is a medical officer at Orchid Ward, which is at City Hall. Okay. Ricky, where's the dope? This is madness. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think it's madness at all. I think this is just the human condition. All right, open the door, close the door. Just ask a simple question. Uh-huh, yep. So the guy works at City Hall. See, so I already made some money. They said uh, crime doesn't pay. I think they mean taxes. Ah, uh, yeah, there was a sync disc in the crime scene, but that was the Starch Cola one. It's not that great, but I might go back for it. Before I turn in the case, you know what I mean? Orchid Ward. Oh, he hello? No, that's not the guy. Alright. There's, there's nobody... Hello? Citizens? Attention citizens? Alright, let's see. That- Wow! That guy writes like a serial killer! The dark coach, my office, was one of my senators, and I think it's a door. It's like, good God. Is that guy shaking while he wrote it? Alright, let's see. Lewis Page, medical officer. All right, got it. Now I know all their stuff. There's Arthur Donovan in there. Okay. There's the micro cruncher. Uh huh. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, fire that up. Check the cabinets. Oh look, money. Oh, potential fines? I don't think so. I don't believe in fines. I just believe in money. There we go. Look at that. They said that's illegal. No, having money is not illegal.
All right, anyways, I work here now, and they just need to accept that. Uh, let's see, what was his crazy note ID? Oh yeah, 1924. All right, let's see, profile, uh-huh. Come on, employee database, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was his name again? It was uh, Lewis Page, okay. There we go, and then we go, boop, 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 and I go print, and yep, I help myself to that. Of course, you know it prints out of the uh, floppy disk, so really good, really good print there. Oh no, a type B fingerprint. Uh-oh. Bum ba dum bow. Bum ba dum bow. Bum ba da da bum ba da da bum ba da da bum ba da da dum ba dum do 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 do. See, I'm I I proved that they have the same fingerprint, which in this world is enough to send you to jail forever. So now we need to go in, go back in, get that code breaker, and then uh you know uh bust in. I'm gonna buy some more of these and some more of those. Some more of these. Some more of those. Probably another code breaker, because I'm an idiot. Alright. And then we're gonna go... Oh, wait! That's Lewis Page! Holy shit! That's the guy! What's your name? Sorry, that's personal. Wrong? Let's see, have you seen or heard nothing? Wow. Okay. Do you know this person? That's my partner, Samantha Richardson. Suffers from hearing loss. So she didn't hear this one coming, huh? They live with me. I saw them somewhere around Jenkins Grove. Uh-huh. Can you provide your fingerprints? No way. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, got any spare change? I wouldn't give you the time of day. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and then just <laughs> resolve. Uh, what's the name of the killer? Actually, you know what? No, let's go. Let's go toss that place one last time. Let's double check that we actually got a, sh a shot at this guy, right? I'm not gonna bludgeon him yet. It is not time yet to have the hammer of justice swing heavily in their face. You know what I mean? Not yet. Not yet. But soon. Soon. What are we gonna call this case? I don't know. If this was a. Uh <laughs> Tech smash. If if this was a crime novel, like one of them dime store crime novels, what would the name of the case be? The case of there are only like eight types of fingerprints? I don't know. What do we got here? What's this? A dirty napkin, huh? What's that? A lady, huh? Some other lady, huh? All right, let's keep going. A slight case of murder. I remember one of my favorite experiences I had in World of Darkness over the years of role-playing games was my experience of getting in trouble by playing a Malkavian in World of Darkness. Now, a lot of people play Malkavians in various ways, like fish milk. Not a great way to play a Malkavian. I instead played a Malkavian who'd been turned in the 1930s, if not early 1940s, and his derangement was he thought he was a pulp detective hero. So his derangement was he would speak his narration. So he would go around and narrate everything. He'd be like, there was bourbon on the wall like sin in my heart. And as the cop walked by, I smelled his cheap perfume. Desperation is a cloying scent. And, you know, just doing that all the time. So just doing the full narration. Really fun times. Seems like there's a cop in there, which is a bummer. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get the cop out of there. And this is where our friend Mr. Hammer comes in handy. Because with Mr. Hammer, you can just do this. You can just be like, oh no! Nothing? All right, Mr. Plunger then. Mr. Plunger. Rare one in doubt you can just throw stuff. No? All right. Is that cop... Is that cop just standing in there doing nothing? All right, now I'm just gonna run away. I'm gonna hide in the corner. See? 
Sí. Sí. Well, milk and on, I see things in black and white, so it helps. Being a monochromat sucks. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay, no, he's not going to play that game. All right, no, I'm just hiding back here. See? There you go. <laughs> Isn't it? No? All right. Oh. What? Where? Oh. Oh, he's probably investigating the murder. Right. No? He's not gonna... All right. I mean, I can play the case of the thrown plunger at the wall. I almost fell off there. Well, time to just help myself to someone's packages. Yeah, no, this, uh, this cop doesn't seem to want to get out of here. All right, now I hide in the corner again. <laughs> See, it's just little things like that. Good times. No? Oh, man. I'm really annoying this guy. You were in the other room, did you just hear fish, fish milk? Yes. Hello. What's your name? Sorry, that's personal. Okay. Well, uh, have you seen or heard nothing? I heard nothing. Do you know this person? No way. No one will f provide fingerprints. Oh, I'll go get the hammer again if it's downstairs. Goodbye. Bye, they say. See you around. Is that a thread? This isn't where it should be. Yeah, neither is the bourbon on the wall where it should be. No one cleans shit in this world. Oh. This isn't where it should be. Okay. He's just... Uh-huh. Anyways. Back to the crime stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Wow. Didn't even lock it. What an idiot. Alright, let's just use this. And, uh, yeah, no, I... I mm, mm, nope. Mm -mm. We're just gonna go ahead and do that. And then, uh, yep. We got our we got our code breaker here in case we need it. All right, we'll enter passcode. Ooh, not really. Do I have any of their? Uh. Uh huh. It's not slow torturing of random NPCs. Now here's the problem: is I now need to enter the passcode, and I have a code breaker. It appears that it's not going to work on this thing. Or wait, yeah, well, okay, good. It didn't click the first time I clicked it. There we go. Good, good, good. All right, profile. Neat. Now let's get into the employee database. Any employees? A. No. B. No. C. No. D. E. E. Yeah. No. Nope. All right. I think there is only one employee, and that's in the bottom file. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, residence database? Uh-huh. Oh, wait, I've already looked into that. Okay, I need to check into the other one. Management admin. All right, and then I get into my stuff, and I get my other code breaker out. I'm sure this is fine to use on this computer. I'm sure it won't blow it up in any way. No passcodes near the computer, sadly. Wow. Aha! Surveillance. Alright. Ooh, profile. Neat. I got the police thing. Good, 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 good. V-mail. Anything in it? Nope, nope, nope. Request of your help. No, no, no. Everyone's out of milk in this city. That's a weird one. Okay. Employee database. Let's take a look. Wait, we've already gotten that. Let's just check the cameras. Duh. Alright, let's see. Surveillance. Let's go ahead and check that. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, lobby ground? No. All right, let's check the eighth floor. Why do we not have the ninth? We have nothing. Nothing for the eighth floor. That's weird. Oh, that is weird. We got nothing for that, but there's a camera there. You know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Security. All right, ground floor. Illegal activities. Nobody, everybody, non-residents. Not player. All right, lobbies and huh? All right, let's. Wow, look at the basement. It is fucked. All right, so no camera. Interesting. Interesting. Fair. Oh wow. I just put the alarm on for uh. Not me. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Somebody help! Alright. It's fun to play with the security systems. Please don't hurt me. No, I'm cool. AI. Everyone other than Captain is non-human. There's gonna be some openings in this place fairly soon. You know? Oh. Uh-huh. Well, they appear to be dead. Now, oh, anyways. That ought to solve the murder problem. By the time he comes home, he'll be well dead. All right. Job well done. All right, so let's go uh, turn this murder... Uh, I'm just going to say it's uh, that guy. Uh, arrest the killer? No, I won't be doing that. Uh, do I have any... Ew? Yes, I do. Um, I managed to get me some fingerprints over here. Yep. Uh-huh. Where does the killer live? Uh, they live at... Uh, <laughs> Lewis Page. Oh, hold on. Where does the killer live? Let's let's open that up before we get into that, right? They live at Nope. Let's see. They live, uh-huh. Alright, Lewis Page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, business card work, Rona. Got it. Uh, where's her ID? Donor card. Nope. Printed employee record. Employer or Jumarn. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. The wallet. Duh. See? Done. Oh, wait, I still have their wallet. Yoink. Yoink. No, I need that. I need that for my evidence. Damn it. For my evidence, I need that. To solve my case. I can't even say that with a straight face. I need that to solve my case. I need the money. All right, cancel pick. Okay, let's open the wallet, resolve, and then let's grab that. Where does the killer live? There. There. See? There. They live there. Have you located the murder weapon? No. Not gonna. They died. Oh yeah, turrets. That's what did it. Oh man, that building's just going to hell. <laughs> Crime ain't what it used to be in the big city. I have a memory of their wallet. Yeah, well, you know, probably. Because it contains money. Alright, anyways, before I hand this case in... Why can't I take the money? Let me hand this in to see how we did. There we go. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. All right, let's see how much of a true detective I am. Oh, yep. Oh, no, 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 no. So, that wasn't them. Oh, well. Unsolved. Hey, buddy. The person in your house is dead, but you didn't do it. Sorry. I lost $100. But, I can't take this money, so I have to wait until there's another murder. Let's figure that out. What's that thumbnail? Don't worry, man. I love Dr. Strangelove. I just had to throw it up there, you know? 
So, what I'm thinking is, let's re-examine this case. Obviously not them. Probably need to break back into the house again. See if I can't find some more things in the house to have. You know what I mean? Probably the cop. Could be. It's one of them B fingerprints. So, they're all over the house. That's the only other fingerprint there. And if I wait long enough, there will be a murder. So, let us continue. Uh, we're going to go back into their house and uh, see about how the security is doing. I'm sure it's doing very well. This building has entered a security protocol. What? Dodge thanks you for your cooperation. Oh, man. I was just there. That's fucking crazy. I can't believe that that happened. I can't believe that. Oh, God. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. All right, I'll just... I'll just continue on my way. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I think this calls for... Uh, not being there for a minute. Okay? Let's just... Um, uh, <laughs> whoops. Wow. This is a bad time. I mean, I thought it would be funny. And it is. But it really isn't. Okay. Oh man. No, nope, that's not them. It's not them at all. Alright, let's check these murders. Oh man, look at this pile of possible victims. Alright. What's this? No, no, no. Nah. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Don't do that. That's not nice. Help, they say. Wow. Look, this is a bit of a cyberpunk dystopia, so pardon me as I run away. What are they gonna do? Why? Ow. It's not very nice. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, he's having a breather. All that shooting at people makes you real tired. Uh-huh. Nope. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Time to drink my bandage. Can't catch me. Yeah, they're gonna try. But, see, I have money to buy drugs out of the box. Oh, pain relief? Yeah, I'll take some of that. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna have some of them. Alright, good enough. Yeah! What I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee. Yeah, me too. Me too. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, yeah, IBS? Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and put another bandage on. Just in case. Alright, and yeah! Alright. Let's go get some food. Ah, yes. Hello. Hello, food people. Wow, what a filthy place. Talk to. I would like to buy something. Hmm. Don't worry about the security AI. Things happen, you know? It's just the way they are, right? I can go for a cup of coffee. A uh, cheeseburger, of course. I gotta do the detective thing. Alright. Well, now that we're detecting, and I took my fists out, I have to show my fists before I eat. It's just my thing. He says, calm down. Hey, what you doing, man? All right. I'm just gonna sip my coffee. I throw it on the ground. Welcome to PJ McFilthy's. When you're done with your food, you throw it on the ground, just like a Texas roadhouse. They, they do that with the peanuts there. I, that's, they, they don't just throw it on the ground to throw it on the ground. It's part of the Texas thing, they say. So I just need this cheeseburger. Alright, done. Stop that. Alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna sit down. 
And we're gonna pass time. We're gonna wait. We're gonna do the detective thing. We're gonna wait till like 8 a.m. We're gonna see if those guns have run out of ammo, or if I need to go uh, do some more wallet biopsies to go find, uh, you know, things. Things. Ah, oh, yeah, I gotta get that chili, like Columbo. He does like his con carne. Will I be checking out Armored Core 6 when it comes out? I couldn't tell you. I've never been an Armored Core guy, nothing against it, it's just don't know anything. Also, it looks like I'm not the only person who throws stuff on the ground here at PJ McFilthy's. PJ McFilthy's, it's a restaurant. Ah, the guy came all the way up here to sit on the floor. Yep, yep, welcome to PJ McFilthy's. They tracked you only when you were in pain. That's right, they discovered me. Oh, it's time to eat food again. They say I'm hungry, so here we go. Look, at PJ McFilthy's, everything on the floor is free. All right, let's let's uh, let's order something off the menu because we're hungry again. Uh-huh. Anybody uh, speak any of this? This say anything accurate? It says a hot dog's 10 credits. That's weird. All right, let's get a burger. I feel like a burger. All right, let's just get a hamburger. There we go. Six dollars? That ain't too bad. Thoughts on the Banshee. It needs help. It's one of those imperfect tools. Um, I've, I've played a few Banshees that I liked, but I never have good luck with them. I've had the most luck with melee ones, generally speaking. Uh, let's see. All right, well, it seems like I need to go check out, obviously, the state of my, uh, thing here. I want to make sure that, obviously, uh, we're doing the best we can regarding our limited resources, and I figure that we've just created a bunch of new openings. Uh, strangely enough, they don't consider this a murder, so it kind of lets you know that in this city that murder does happen a lot more frequently. I just think that this is the game's way of telling you that casual dismemberment with auto turrets is not murder in this setting. It isn't. It's just a thing. What What is this for? Oh, it's for a different rest. Oh, yeah. This happens sometimes. You'll find camera rooms from other businesses that spawn in the building that are next door. All right. Let's see. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. Now, they, they had a lot of people recently move out here. There was some sort of security issue. That happens, you know? All right, let's 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 take this. Let's take this guy here. There we go. Come on. You ever watch someone press this, the elevator button? You ever watch somebody do this? Have you ever, have you ever sat in an elevator when someone was doing that? I hate it. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's a manufacturing fault for the turrets in the in the building. Oh look, there's the police. Hello, police. Hello. Hey, I'm the detective. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, so look, I'm gonna talk to you. What's your name? Nothing to do with you. Oh. Have you seen or heard in no, nothing. Nothing. Not not even a murder. Not even a little. None of your business. None of my business. Do you know this person? Keep your nose out of my business. All right. That's that's interesting. That. Oh. Okay. I mean, that's kind of an ominous response, isn't it? It's none of your business. I'm going to sit by the crime scene. No? He's like, I ain't doing that. That's right. That's what you do. You have to you have to you have to flash your light at him to let it, let him know. A cigar, huh? Why didn't I see this? Oh yeah, because it's flat. 
Yep, Lewis Page. Well, now that I got Lewis Page's ID, I guess all I have to do is uh, look around until I find not a Lewis Page or not this lady. Lewis Page, Lewis Page. It's all these people. Oh, cigars. Uh-huh. It wasn't him. Yeah, this is this is a bit weird. Yeah, I need that for evidence. Oh, uh, what else we got? You know you smoke too much when your cigarettes are in the fucking safe. Oh, those are the good smokes. This guy had to put a cigarette out to get more tobacco to smoke better cigarettes. Like this guy is driven. All right. I'm wondering what's going on here. Uh huh. Perfume, eh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Likely story. Every fingerprint in here belongs to them two. Every single one. That's too weird. That is too weird. Ah, beta blockers. All right. Oh, a business card. Jubilee Incorporated, eh? Ha. Huh. This might be a real part of the case. It might be a new place to burg, I mean, in, in, look at, ah, hearing aid. They said she was hard of hearing. So I'm wondering, I am wondering, oh, fuck. I am wondering, who in the cinnamon toast fuck is this guy? I keep saying I'm trespassing, but I don't think I am. Since they were poisoned, you might have better luck in the kitchen. Thanks, Greg. And I am still learning this game. Man, if only, if only I could find out, you know, what, oh. Alright, synth chicken, huh? That's a weird fridge. Well, what does this milk mean, you think? Now, sometimes when I'm a detective, I like to sit there and drink a milk while I think. Yeah. You know, I just gotta drink my milk while I work. Yep. Just gotta think about what I'm doing. All right, let me just puke in the trash can. That's becoming one of my hallmarks. There we go. Okay, now that I'm handled, I've had my milk. Thread, eh? Not to the plot it ain't. Wool, eh? Look at all these weapons that just could be used. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, no. No. A skull, I mean that's pretty, that's pretty cool. A dumbbell on the shelf. Packing tape. There's a lot of tobacco, this house probably does not smell well. All right, and greetings Finland. Greetings and salutations in the land of permanent frozen north. The land of struggle. The land of crazy frozen people who claw their way from the frozen underdark and smash forward. Or something like that. All right, inspect a heel, size 10, size nine. No, 
yeah, 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 yeah. What else have we got? Nope, nope, none of that. No, sir. None of that, I don't think. Yeah, the gun on the kitchen table, they weren't shot. They were, uh... Yeah, no, it's just a kitchen gun. Just a, just a kitchen gun. You know, you got your, you got your kitchen luger next to your 80th cigarette of the day. How would anyone know that there was a murder in here? I mean, I occasionally smoke cigars, but not indoors, and Jesus Christ. You're sitting there looking through all this stuff, and you're like, there's just tobacco everywhere. Like, what are your hobbies? Smoke. It's not a hobby. All right, well, I'm stumped. I'm going to think here. Hmm. Bath time, detective. You're right. Well, thank God I'm in a place where you can just have free water. That's one of the perks of this job, is you could just, you know, help yourself. There you go. I'm just going to sit here and do my thing. You ever have those shower thoughts? They're just weird. I was having a... I was having a shower thought the other day. I had a really good one. You guys want to hear? It's pretty weird. But, uh... I was thinking, like... A way of challenging... A way of challenging... Uh... Uh... You know, stuff like auto racing. Right? And, uh... When it comes down to auto racing, you end up with, with a lot of different things that are fascinating. I'm a big fan of rally stuff. But one of my favorite thoughts was, you can have whatever car you want in the race, but you can only choose one gear. So choose wisely. You can choose one gear. You can have one gear. Hold on, let me use the towel here. I thought that was a really cool... I thought this was a really cool thing that you actually have to dry off with a towel. Uh, bandages, what else? Dental floss. Oh, 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 murder. All right, it's related. It's it's related. Oh, boy. Where is it? 1302 Jenkins Grove. We got a mass murderer. Er, er. Good day, officer. Oh, it wasn't them. All right. I remember... Uh, I remember... Quite, quite funnily, that Depp was playing this game and thought they had somebody. And right as, right as they were talking to the person that they thought was it, there was another murder. And they're like, oh. Oh, man. And I don't mean a CVT transmission as in one gear. I mean, you have a full gearbox. Choose a ratio. But you only get the one. So, imagine running a race. Now, I'm thinking if you had enough horsepower, you could get a high gear, like a six-gear transmission, choose the sixth gear, and then just use the horsepower as an automatic transmission. I don't think that would be fun. It would be very, very slow. Uh, let's see, 1302 Jenkins, huh? All right, what is this? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What else? Uh-huh. Venable Heights? Magpie Barbecue. All right. Jenkins? No. Uh-uh. No. All right. So this is it's this building over here. And we're going to go to the sink clinic anyways. So let's go. Let's go solve a murder. All right, let's get going. Oh God, they're saying. And then they just stopped. They just said, oh God, and then they just stopped. And I'm like, oh, do you remember the turret day? I do. Should have worn a scarf. Yep, time to go put some things in my brain. What a crime, eh? Get in. Oh, I know I can search by location. I just like actually reading the stuff. I'm, I'm weird. So here's one of the upgrades that you can get. And it's 
pretty hilarious. Uh, let's see. Starch brand ambassador. Gain two credits for telling someone about starch cola products. Or six for giving them starch cola products. Now, the second one requires I have it or sell it. So, no. I'm just going to do the one where I'm the corporate stooge. Yeah. And now I can tell people about starch cola. And, uh, you know, I can... I can... Uh, I can then get an upgrade. Yep. Check it out. Get a bit of... Yeah, 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 yeah. See, now I can get $3 every time I tell people about Starch Cola. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, you're here to see if this game is as buggy as the reviews? Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Yes, it is buggy. Um, you can make some really funny things happen. But... Not necessarily... Okay. Like, this is randomly generated, but this is placed like one of my... Sim houses in The Sims. It's like, I'd like to get out of the house. <laughs> there we go. See your Sim go to the back of their house and just start sobbing quietly. <laughs> All right. So, Subbrief, I hope you're doing well. All right, let's see. We're going to do some... We're going to do some investigation. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get free stuff, right? Now, this is a store, and, you know, the store is closed, and all you have to do is use your magic key, and the magic key goes like this, and all you do is you just sit there and you grind this down. Oh, magic key. All right, and then now that you're indoors, you have to watch out for the camera. So you have to use the uh, light very quickly. Oh, look, pocket watch. Nice. No, you didn't see that. Because the light is off, you dumb bitch. Yeah, see? Boop, boop. Beep, boop. Ah, yeah, what was there? You almost saw me, but you didn't. Ha, ha. Nope. Ha. Nope. Eep up. Almost got me. <laughs> oh, it, nope, not today. Anyways, let me help myself to the things in here. What's this? A watch? Thank you. Oh, nope. Sorry. Ah, eep, nope. What else we got? Oh, uh -huh. some of these. And then what else we got here? A hairpin? All right. Uh -huh. And uh, commemorative to baseball and, uh, yep, another pocket watch. All right. It's all about the small things, I find. You just gotta, you know, do your thing. Is this the bathroom? All right. It's hard finding your way in the dark, but not impossible. Uh, no, 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 no. Probably not these. Oh, there's the code. There's the code book right there. That's going to be their codes. These people are lazy. 8765. 8765. 8765. 8765. There we go. And we're just going to help ourselves to the stuff. Is there any cameras in here? Yes, there is. Okay, good, good, good. All right. 8765. Uh huh. What do you got in here? Candy. That's it. And a key. All right. Now I will read through their things. Uh-huh, there's the sales ledger. What are people buying, I wonder? Gun, nails, chef's knife, toy car, truncheon, rope, gun, dumbbell, camera, sword, rope, toy car, chef's knife, box cutter, box cutter, hammer, box cutter. Wow. This is Knife Fight City for fucking real. Good lord. Okay, that's not good. Uh, 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 no. No camera. Bad. Alright. Oh, man. Alright, so... Ooh. What do you wouldn't give for a cup of coffee? I know, did you hear about that place where all those people got shot by that turret? That's fucking crazy. Oh man, hey. Uh, no, here, hold on, watch this. You can just start doing corporate stuff to them. It's really, really great. Watch this. Wow, what a shill. What's weird is when YouTubers do that stuff, everyone accepts it. Alright, let's see. Starch Cola, put some life into it. Wow, what a shill. All right, talk to. You look like some starch cola. Put some life into it. Wow, what a shill. What a shill. Bum, 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 bum. 
What a shill. See, all I got... All I got was just a bunch of wristwatches I found, you know, at the uh, wristwatch getting place, aka the pawn shop, and I just helped myself to them. Hail Cargonia. And all we gotta do is just keep doing stuff. So 1302 Jenkins Grove. Man, that is, that is unfortunate. There's a murderer on the loose and everything. Just went around the city doing what they do. And let's look in here. No, nope, nothing right there. All right, let's go over here. What's over here? Oh. See, you have to make sure you're taking care of people and, uh, you know, picking up keys for the safety conscious. Oh, man. Oh, 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 there we go. All right, 1302. God damn, how many floors does this place have? I always am f afraid of these, like, elevators. I just... I'm always worried whenever I've been in one of these elevators that I will stick my finger accidentally through one of those things and then it will just remove it. Oh, cool, they have tubes. Ah, oh, these guys are cool. They have tube technology. This guy is standing right in front of where I need to break in, so let me check my scannerator. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, hold on. Let me just... suck from the water cooler in front of you. Just put my lips around it and drink like a fucking walrus. And then... Hey, how's it going? Uh... Well? Sir? Alright. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going in there. Are you alright? You just gonna... Just gonna stand there and... Judge people? Oh, man. Uh, maybe I can distract him like a baby, right? Look, cigars. Let me scan these. Ah, yep, see, the cigars belong to Lewis Page. Lewis Page is involved in the... He's obviously not, but I'm just gonna keep saying that. Uh-huh. Nice pantsuit. Usually if you have a pantsuit like that, you've fired somebody in recent history. Okay, I'm gonna do a Space Station 13 trick. Alright. No funny business. It's not funny! I just threw a cigar box. You could have some cigars. You don't know how. You don't... Oh, huh? No? All right. Be judgmental. I'm picking up my cigars, though. You obviously don't want them. Anyways, I live in here now. Bye. All right, so... Now that I have found my new residence... A type E fingerprint. Nope. Type F. Nope. That's not them. Nope. Type E. Type E. Type E. It's all type E crap. Alright, let's see if we, uh, wow. You know, I've never been over to someone's house and said, thank God you put the turret in the living room. Holy fuck. What a future, huh? Oh, what do we got here? Magnus Hatton. Okay. Wow, oh, you look very deceased. Unknown citizen. Oh, here's the next one. Let's start finding what they've got. Huh? Looks like they've been poisoned between 7.45 and 9 on Tuesday. So, let's make sure that these are... I'll try to make sure there's room. Because you want to make sure you're using all the real estate of your crazy person. You know, like, I'm solving crime board. Perhaps the officer would like a starch cola. God, if only. All right, let's make sure that the cadaver... I think we'd call it a corpse, really. Uh, okay. Unknown citizen, got it. Take print of the cadaver. Let us find out. What do we got? All right, well... They are a Type-G fingerprint. 
All right, they were poisoned. Pick a pepper sauce, eh? Salt, eh? Type E, eh? All right. Something's fucky. By fucky, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Hmm. Synth beef, eh? I'm just gonna leave the fridge open. Tinned food? Question is, how were they poisoned? Also, this is a very sad kitchen. Alright, let's search through their trash like a nice person. Yeah, you're probably right. They're probably not being poisoned inside the apartment. You're right. They are probably, I'm willing to bet, based on what people have been saying, poisoned at a restaurant. Now notice, both of these people had hot dog and both of these people died. You never know what hot dog may be made of. You must be careful. All right, no. What's in there? Plant pot? That's not pot. All right. Wow. That's not so good. If you're going to scrawl something on the wall for a murder, make sure it's legible. Because, you know, uh, that's that's just not great. It's just not, not exactly fantastic. Oh. Yeah, I just got my got my M21 set up for the balcony here in Knife Fight City. Holy shit. And before you say tank the gun, it doesn't do anything. All you can do is club people with it. Alright, so now we have Magnus Hatton. We have their work ID. And we know what they're doing. Oh, man. Charcoal tablets, huh? Oh. You shouldn't have. Alright, so we have their wallet. They made a donation to the uh, Retired Policeman Appreciation Fund. You know, which is very, very important. I do not understand enough Chinese to understand what they're saying over there. So I think that would be interesting if anyone did. Oh, let's see. I only know a few phrases. Let's see, open... Uh-huh. And, yeah, lots of information. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. Well, Turdberg Opticians. Come on down to Turdberg Opticians. Wow. Left eye. That's a lot of power. It would be funny if the uh, prescription got bigger <laughs> when they realize this person's blind as shit in their left eye. All right. Like, the left side of the page is just twice as big. Yep, city of the Turdberg. I'm wondering. Note. Remember your passcode this time. 2780. Alright. What else we got? Uh-huh. Let's get in their computer. If we find a restaurant, let's go ahead and uh, find out where they're, where they're going for a restaurant. Seems like everyone in this city is very heavily medicated. Okay. And I'm not supposed to do an account up from six. That's your password? Wow. That's like really not great. But I also think this is an interesting setting because it's the 70s. There's microcomputers and even strangers still. Wait a second. They have a password for a computer? Where's the computer? Where is the computer? Where is the computer? All right. That's a new one. Oh, it's in the back room over here. Excellent. Ba -ba -dee -doo -doo. There we go. Let's just pick this up and put this in the corner, shall we? Should put that down there. Okay, good. Ah, yes. Phone on. Key. All right. See, you just help yourself. Just help yourself to what you got, and then... Uh-huh. Yeah. There's the hourglass. I sure measure time with that frequently. All right, what do we got? Uh... It's not that one. There it is. Oh, wow. A case of the unattended diamond. All right, what is that? Uh, 
Uh huh. I mean, there's a diamond in there. And some, uh, you know, stuff. What do we got here? Huh. I mean, that diamond's kind of important. I, it's very related to the case, as you know. Oh, wow. See? We need to, we obviously need to come here and, uh, man, I can't believe someone uh, stashed all these pocket watches here from the crime, you know, from that murder. Who knows? It's just, <laughs> who, who, who could have ever, who, who could have ever suspected that, you know, all those, all those stopwatches from that place that got robbed would just end up in one place. That's insane. That's totally insane, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that. Anyways, I'll just have that and one of those. Uh-huh. Well, that's a, that's a diamond. I'm gonna need that. I just can't, I just can't believe how many things just end up in these, in these horrible, oh, hello, Mr. Train. I can't believe how many things just end up here. Thank you, Mr. Train, I agree. They should really clean up better. <laughs> well, time to get in the computer. But da da dum bum ba dum bum What's on the videotape? Can't really read them. As far as I'm aware. Uh, let's see, use. First I thought it would be like dirty evidence or pornography or something exciting, but no, it was just like, it's a VHS, and I'm like in 1979? All right. All right, let's check their mail and see what we got. And how goes the detecting? Three out of five. Let's see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you for that. Bad, 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 bad. Proof of earnings. Wow. Business brunch. Interesting. I noticed this place. Huh. Midnight Magpie. I saw that in both of these. All right, let's 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 go take a look. I yeah, that guy's thinking about a starch coal. I don't have time for that. He can just do whatever he wants. All right, it's future 1979. We would call this back in the day stuff like. Well, essentially, we would call this cassette futurism. If you want really good examples of cassette futurism, where it's kind of a lived-in, push-button, toggle-button uh, future, I would say stuff like uh, the movie Outland, Alien, uh, Blade Runner, all very good examples. Ah, that's right, this person's from Europe. You have to go down one. Alright, there we go. Oh, shit. Alright, let's go. Okay. Now, we need to obviously go to the uh, clinic to uh, test uh, the things that we found, um, you know. Yeah, they, they both also had the Columbia email. Alright, so if people keep getting murdered, we'll obviously uh, help, you know. Obviously. Uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna definitely, definitely stay on top of that murderer thing, you know. Look, I, I'm helping. I'm very much helping, all right? Uh, let's see. Exploring new locations or exploring ventilation ducts. Uh, let's see. Let's take the new locations because I hate the vents. And, uh, yeah, we want even more money for the cola. We're going to just keep going around. And uh, we're going to keep uh, suggesting as best we can our, uh, our cola brand ambassadors for cola. And then, um, yeah, this, sh this should be fairly easy. Next thing, uh, we're gonna go to that barbecue place, which I believe, yep, there it is. So let's go take a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Outland is just Space Station 13, pretty much. And hello, Dr. White. Hello. I'm just going to walk down this road doing what I do. I'm a detective. I'm here to detect crime. Now there's a murder or something, but while there is trouble afoot, I am also trying to solve the case of the broke detective. It's a very difficult case because I get lost and confused a lot and 
well, sometimes I don't quite know where I'm going. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down... Wow. Alright. I'm just going to walk down the hallway and, uh... Wonder why this shithole dystopia is alternately like raining, foggy, or snowy, and then realize I did something just as trite. Ooh. Yep. Sorry, Space Station 13 habit. Um, it, it, something just as trite. I did something just as trite, just as bad for the Magistrano Mundanus. I more or less pretty much made something permanently noir with constant running water and rainy rain and everything else. It was miserable. All right. So they both went to this diner, eh? Now I'm just here to scan the diner. Are you telling me this place cleans the whole table? No. Not this place, not PJ McFilthy's. PJ McFilthy's is a fine restaurant. Type J fingerprints, eh? Type L. Type M. Ah, taking your break, I see. Ah, dirty napkin. These are the kind of things you can expect at PJ McFilthy's. Hello? Alright, someone's downloading in there. I don't want to, you know, be that person. Type O. Type O. Empty mug, eh? Where did all the employees go? That's a good question. All right, three eight three four eight seven. Oh hi. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, all right. I'll come back later when you're, you know, not freaked out by me doing stuff. I'm just gonna stand here and stare at you. What is it? He says. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's right. Anyways, I'm gonna order something off the menu. Wow, okay. Yeah, I need to be very focused in my detective work. Very, very folky. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, fucky more than focused. But yeah, PJ McFilthy's, home of the McFilthy's Grand Slam. All you can eat microplastic salad bar with free balloons for the kids in the salad. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do what I normally do, throw it on the ground. And then I'm just going to be like... Nope. All right, cool. Oh, wait. What's this note say? Uh-huh. 3847. Okay. 3487. Shit. Sorry. I so dyslexic. There we go. Oh. Oh, pardon me. Well, uh, that seems to have gone well. Oh, what's he doing? He's like, I've finished counting how many burritos we have in inventory. I'm now going to go wash my hands. Maybe get the hot dog and get it tested, huh? This guy has got some strong Howard Hughes vibes. Leaves his office to wash his hands. Alright, fine. Let's talk to this guy. I'd like to buy something. Let's find out if that hot dog is poison. Thanks. Alright, let's check that hot dog for evidence. Scan the hot dog. No? Jerry can? No. I'm gonna scan with the hot dog, I guess. I'm just gonna eat it in front of him and stare at him. Eye contact the whole time. If you stare at someone dead in their eyes while eating a hot dog, 
they will look away. Yeah, he's not even bothered. Yeah, little friends running across the floor and whatever the shit that is. Alright, work available. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, ooh. Uh-huh, yeah, alright. I have a, a... It's not theft. I'm not a thief. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, S staff. Uh-huh. No, blah, 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 blah. Details. All right. Ask the staff about Bertrand. Bertrand. All right, let's see. Talk to Bertrand. I'm supposed to give you this. Okay. It's a photograph of where a briefcase is hidden. Uh-huh. It'll give you the information on your target. All right. Thank you. I don't want anything to do with this. But you did! You do have things to do with this. All right. You have a lot of things to do with this. Uh, let's see. Just making sure. Find and open the hidden briefcase. What? Oh. Fine. Camp Street, eh? Next to the nasty. Okay. See, all I have to do? Oh, pepper? Fine. Brass knuckle, salt and pepper. You mean the ass knuckle, salt and pepper? Because that's what the sign says. All right. Look, I'm not. I'm not saying that Randolph Pete Checkers is known for being a criminal or you know a uh, uh, near do well, but I do have somewhat of a history in Space Station 13 of rather spectacular heists. During one year's Toolboxes for Good Charity, which the Space Station 13 community does every year, and I've been a host of it frequently enough, um, during the Toolboxes for Good Charity, uh, they had a whole space station made up with everything, and part of the final bit of that that was kind of interesting is they had a giant, you know, safe on the space station that was a vault, and it had all sorts of uh, things in it. See, I can find that place. I've seen it once. My brain works like this. See? Right there. Tell me being autistic isn't great. Oh! Thank you, brain. Thank you for having photographic memory. Okay, there we go. Let's just put that there. Job listing. Now I need to open the briefcase. But so, anyways, they had this big, big tournament. And then they had all these trophies in their space station. You know, for whoever won the toolboxes for good tournament. What they didn't know was the whole time I was hosting, my guys got on the server in character and did a whole Ocean's Eleven style heist of all of the things in that locker on the server during the thing they're like where's all the where's all the trophies and i'm like hail cargonia all right now that i've looked at it i just need to throw it away there we go that's what a spy does okay let's see unknown citizen job listing uh-huh this is where i got my briefcase jubilee incorporated okay uh-huh details Poster needs you to steal something. A file in a red and brown envelope. Oh, that's good for someone who's colorblind. Uh, let's see. Office. Jubilee Incorporated. Well, this is where I'm going to have to help. Chat's going to have to help me. <laughs> steal from the mark. Secret envelope. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm just walking along, minding my own business. You know. As you do. Uh-huh. Wow, you can get a croque monsieur. Monsieur. Ugh, I can't French today. Ooh, cola. I have that implant that I have the cola. So I can walk up, drink a starch cola and say it. Croque mon monsieur, I think. Monsieur. That's right, it's monsieur. God damn it. It's been a while since I took French. Also, I learned French in high school in Texas. I had to take French for two years because the Spanish class was full. And I was like, I'd rather learn Spanish because then I can go to all the baller restaurants I like and get everything. And they are like, no, 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 you have to take Francais. And I'm like, right, but the teacher speaks with a Texas accent. Have you ever heard French with a Texas accent? 
I did for two years. Uh, Parlez-vous, Francais. It, <laughs> it was so bad. It was a tray beyond. It was awful. It, it just, ugh. Waste of time. Hilarious in retrospect, but oof. Anyways, I'm gonna drink, uh, cola, you know. Oh wait, was this the office? Was, was this it? Was this the place? Uh, nope, blank core solutions, nope, nope, nope. Buttermilk? Buttermilk Incorporated? That's like something Tom would own. Alright, let's see. Let's go back down a floor. Alright. <laughs> you know who speaks Latin? Nihil novi sub sole. Nobody does, I'm sure, but there's nothing new under the sun. Elegance Group? What the fuck? Okay, Jubilee Incorporated, huh? There's somewhere in here. Uh, commission management. Uh -huh. Amber and Partners. Eh? Okay. Wow. Alright, let's see. Willow and Partners. Q Networks. Uh huh. Just gotta throw that cola down there. Now that I've had my caffeine, I'm gonna go at people like a spider monkey. Alright, Consult Clerical. These all sound like fronts. Alright. I wonder what kind of business this is. Is there another stairwell? Yes. Alright, that's the other stairwell. Let's double check here. Uh huh. Alright. Good. So, Jubilee Incorporated. Location Jenkins Grove. Type office. It says they're here. All right, let's be thorough. Let us be most thorough. Oh boy. Let's just make sure that we rob every burgle. We must burgle. You know what I mean? I'm also looking for fun little things to explore because I'm finding little things I like in this game. Is this a cigarette machine? Fuck yeah, it is. Fuck yeah. Can I smoke them? Why can I not smoke my cigarettes? Can I smoke my jerry? No. <laughs> smoke your jerry can. That's horrible. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Consult management. Do you want cigarettes? Cigarettes? Cigaretten? Nine? Alright. Sons of bitches. These all sound like fronts again. It's gonna be a good time though. All we're gonna do is just have some fun with friends. Uh huh. Yeah. Sounds nice when you burgle. I agree. Just a little bit of burgling. Nothing. Nothing too big. Elegance group. These all sound so fake. Who do you work for? Ah, uh, I work for Elegance Group. Really? What's the name of it? One, okay, it's, it's on 1234th Street. Why, it, it's very real. Wait, what? Revenue tree, instead of money tree. Ah, Jubilee Incorporated. All right, apparently I'm allowed in here, I guess. Guess I can have this stuff. A comb? No. Usually a good good source of DNA on a comb. Keep your desk perfume. Let me pick up this office chair and then just put it down. Uh -huh, more office perfume. I'll be the guy in the lobby that's, uh, you know, doing doing all sorts of weird reading on your stuff. Good day. How's it going? You guys don't like the chair there? No? Hey. You look like you can. Yeah. See? You could use the starch coal. I made $4. Dollars. 
Wow. I said, do you want a starch cola? And he's like, I could use a starch cola. All right, so there's a uh, file somewhere. Syringes? Holy shit, these people are into some heavy stuff. I mean, all you gotta do is walk around in here. It's not that bad. Jesus. Uh huh. So I'm just gonna sit here in the back like one of the White House plumbers. And I'm just gonna go around here and get my desks and stuff. What do we got? No. All right. Good, 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 good. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Nope. Oh, money. Excellent, excellent. Very related to that murder that's going on. Oh, man. Nope, nope. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Very fine, thank you. Excellent, all right. What we need to do is let's just take a look-see around. Does this person go and have their soda? Hey. Oh, that's right. That's right. They're having to go piss because I told them to have a starch cola and that's killing their liver. Alright, let's get in here. Secret envelope. I can't take it. I need to leave something here. I'll leave the jerry can. There we go. Oh shit, it's on the thing. Shit, they're coming back in. Ah, boy. Now we're in a pickle. I'm just gonna go ahead and have this, if you don't mind. Good day. I work here. Bye. Telephone box on the street. Right street. Got it. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Gotta leave. No. No. Nothing for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very good. Thank you. No, I'm good. No. No. Nothing for me. I have starch cola. I have energy all day. All day energy with starch cola. Heart beating normal 225 beats a minute with starch cola. Good old pure starch cola. All right, so we're gonna just run and flail our hands. No, that's what you do. You just gotta have some of that. I just ran over those people. I just stepped on their backs to get over the stairs. Holy shit, does everyone take the stairs in this city? Goddamn. All right, least realistic part of the game. All right, so now what am I supposed to do? Uh, right Street, huh? Okay. Right Street. Plot course. Alright, so leave the item near the telephone box on the street. Right Street. Okay. Is this the uh, CCTV computer monitor? Alright. Or do they mean this? Huh? Alright, let's double check. Let's get in our map, right? Okay, Right Street. Yeah, that should be in. All right, fine. This is the telephone, you know, just telephone, uh, yeah, you know, just, uh, yeah, you don't need heartbeats. You just have one solid one, just thump. Then that's all you need, right? All right, let's just go ahead and drop that there. And good enough. No, not there. Oh, call 840. All right, got it. Yep, here we go. All right, good. Done and done. Solve the case of the broke detective. Ah, hundred social credit and some money. When you get all the way up to level eight, you can retire. Pick up your reward. All right. Reward from the... Oh my god, there. Sometimes that gets a little weird. 1701 Richard Heights. Okay. Oh. Richard Heights. Richard Heights. Uh, how about just Richard... You know what? There. Just plot a course of the Richard Heights building. There we go. 1701. 1701. 1701. It's not corporate espionage. It's just espionage. Industrial espionage. All right, so we're just gonna run over this building, and nobody needs to really worry about all the things I'm doing. I'm just doing them. And then, oh, look, mailbox. 
excellent. See? Easy as pie. All I gotta do is go put that sync disc in, and uh, the case of the, uh, yeah, see, closed case. Handle. I solved the case. I'm a detective. As you know, it's very normal to say that when you do stuff. Doctors have to say I'm a doctor, right? Fonson 454 Castle is around. I've shot them in a handful of guns, but I really can't reasonably say why you would really need essentially more powerful -er long colts and a handful of guns that don't shoot it well. Um, I've not yet seen a platform for 454 Casul where I said this is fun to shoot uh, or accurate or anything. And that sucks, but I mean it's an interesting round, but it's a niche round. It's not designed for target shooting. All right, let's see. Ooh, Spartan Insurance. Medical care is now covered. No, I don't pay for that. I just run away. Let's see. Legal fees are now covered. Not lose stolen items. All right, that's interesting. Suffered an accident that was not your fault. Oh, wow. Maximum payout once a day. All right, fine. Suffered from an accident. Let's see. Uh... You know what, I'm just going to take the involuntary hospital visits. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to, yeah. Oh, wow, you can upgrade it and get hospital care free? Holy shit, that's nice. All right. Now, what was I going to do? I could solve a crime, but why would you do that? Why would you want to solve a crime? <laughs> So, we have some cigarettes and some pocket watches and some other stuff. Because you find all sorts of neat things in your detective journeys. And, well, you got to turn them in at the turning in place. And if you need to know where the turning in place is, well, you just naturally uh, go around the corner of the pawn shop. And if they're not open, well, you just help yourself to what's there anyways, right? Uh, let's see. 6.5 Creedmoor at 308. I'd say 6.5 Creedmoor if you if you can find a rifle you like in it, please. Um... 6.5 Creedmoor is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly accurate. Especially for longer range shooting. It stays supersonic longer and therefore a lot less drift when you're pushing a bullet out beyond 600. Tags make only crime. That's not true. I solve some. Uh, let's see. I'd like to buy something. I just need to, you know, that diamond. Holy shit. Oh man, the cigarettes. I sold cigarettes and diamonds at the pawn shop. Thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Man, it's weird. You used to have a lot of stuff on display. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to help myself out here. I'm not on the supply side of crime. Why would you want an automag, Dr. White? The automag is a product of this company called Arcania Machine and Tool. An Arcania Machine and Tool is to guns as the Titanic is to ships. You never hear, oh, thank God, for Arcadia Machine and Tool. They are a company that, oh, oh, you want to fight? I will fucking fight you. I'm a detective. Arcadia Machine and Tool is a company that failed to make guns so consistently. They failed multiple, multiple times. And their products are known by and large as being very difficult, non-functional. And the one thing we used to say in the shop was if you get an AMT gun, no matter what, every problem you have will be different than the last. They are all wrong in completely different ways. Every AMT pistol I have ever seen has been fucked up in some way that is completely unrelated to the other one I see. They will all be wrong in different ways. But yeah, it, the automag looks neat, but believe me, when AMT gets into stuff, good lord, automag one through five, the hardballer, everything else, it's just welcome to jam. Why is the trigger bar not connected? Why does the trigger not reset? Why is this gun 
technically a machine gun because the the trigger is so badly positively set with the angle of slip in the sear that it just slides off sometimes. I mean, stuff like that is common in those guns, and they are just not well made. If you ever want a gun that will go bang sometimes and sometimes not, and especially when you don't want it to, yeah, go get an auto mag. They're not good. They're pretty lousy. There is a good reason they went out of business. When all your customers are like, the product doesn't work, that's a pretty bad one. And in some things like cars, guns, safety equipment, you want that to be right. Now, I'm just letting myself into someone's house, you know, because, uh, why not? Alrighty. Yeah, the AMT is a collector series, really, just because of oddities. A lot of them have been destroyed. Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, wow. Some dirty plate. Wow, huh? This could be crime. This could all be very crime related. Oh, that money could be evidence. Could be evidence that money. What's in here in the drawers, huh? What do you got? Where's the good stuff? Huh? All right. Now, if this was Detective Tom, he would start here. He'd be like, oh boy. Oh man, there's no milk in there. Tom would just drink the milk. Noir vodka. Of course. Oh, an apple core. These people are gross. That's how you get all these insects. Just leave apple cores out. Ugh. Gross. It's one of my pet peeves when people just leave shit out. Don't leave food out. Please. Now, I'm just helping myself to things. Oh, cool. They have a gramophone. Ah, yes. I just put the gramophone on, you know? Uh huh. Oh, a cabinet? What's in the cabinet? What's that? Is that a ship in a bottle, but without the ship? Oh, it's just ship in a bottle. Give me that. Huh. How did it get in there? Sounds like a real mystery. Huh. What is this, a building for ants? Sounds like a real mystery. Didn't even contain money. What kind of bullshit is this? Huh. Is that a diamond? That's a real mystery. Huh. Is that a cabinet? Huh. Those... Somebody's secret envelope? That's a real mystery. Real mystery. It's a very real mystery, you know? You never know what you're gonna run into. Very, very, ri just very, very, you know? Very myster mysterious all the time. Super mystery. Such wow. It's not vandalism. It's just burglary. I'm burgling. What, you're not allowed to do a little crime in a video game? I mean, well, no. Shouldn't say that. I mean, GTA is... I can understand why you're violent in the world of GTA. Everything's fucked up in GTA. Like, nothing works right. Oh, man. A locked door. Huh. It's a mystery. Could be a mystery. Huh. A dark house. Could be a mystery. Huh. Dirty floors. Could be a mystery. What's that? Pills? Ah, oh, money. It's probably stolen. Yeah, that's a lot of pills. I feel bad stealing from this guy. He probably needs all this money. Oh, he's got handcuffs. That's kinky. What else you got? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. All right, what else we got? Over there. What's in here? Nothing, 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 nothing. No. Ah, oh, fireplace. Not even real. Electric fireplaces are really depressing. Birth control pills, huh? Not gonna fuck with that. Everybody needs the help they can get right now. Now the mouth to feed, no thanks. Have fun. All right. 
I mean, I'm a bastard when I break into people's... I mean, burgle, but, you know, it's it's one of those things where you gotta, you gotta not be completely fucked up. Gotta, oh, wow. Wow. All right. I'm taking this. I'm taking the typewriter. I like him. Wow. Oh. I hear someone snoring. Do you? Oh, well. Let's just go and look in their box here. And what's in here? Uh-huh. I'm just going to read all their files. It, it helps solve murders. Just to casually scan through people's things. You know, just... All right. Anyways, I'm going to let myself out. There you go. And let's just leave. dum ba dum ba 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 I'm investigating this spate of crime that's gone on in this neighborhood. It's really wild. I'm just making sure that nobody's doing things they shouldn't. What is this? Free beer? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, what else is there? Nope, nothing. Seems like there's no crime here. Let's double check and make sure these people aren't criminals. Oh, no, no, I'm just testing. I'm testing. I, I'm just... It's a its a mystery. I'm doing some testing. All right. No, 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 they, don't, they don't believe that. What was that? Nothing. That was a test. That was a test to see if you were paying attention. Time to relieve. All right. Uh, yeah. It was a test. I'm gonna just commit some mail crime. Mail fraud. Brought to you by Zip Winchester. Okay, let me, let me. It could be floor beer, you know? Who knows? Oh, wow. There's no mail in there. Boo. All right. I did my part. Good day. No. This place is more like that. I agree. See, you can also have fun, fun with words just by perspective. See, it's just say brass knuckle, but if you say like that, ass knuckle, salt, and pepper. Come on down to Ass Knuckles Salt and Pepper, where you can get yourself a whole rack of ribs with guacamole. Listen, where's that guy going? What's she doing? What's your deal? Uh huh. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. Where are you going? Okay. Guy kind of looks like Rob. Like Cocaine Rob from the Black Pants Legion. The kind of looks like Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob, bye. <laughs> Thank God you ran through the street so I noticed you. Wow. It's Rob. All right. I'm just sitting there running through the street and I was like, Rob, where are you going? Yeah, too much starch cola, right? Just having a run? Wow, even the cars here are fucked up. I wonder. Somebody in the street? See, all I gotta do is just throw stuff. People are like, what the fuck was that? And I'm like, I don't know. Could be crime. Seems like you might need to hire a detective to look into it. And then I hand him my business card. Which is probably someone else's business card. <laughs> Oh god, it, it, that's horrible. It's it's probably just someone else's business card, and I'm like, oh, it's me. Not really. All right, this person's unrelated to my crime. They just happen to work here. Hey, I just found some stuff. Anyways, here's some diamonds and things. Oh, some secret documents, and some booze. Uh, I would like to buy police truncheon. Thank you. Excellent. See, look at all this money I've made. They say I'm not a. They say the crime doesn't pay. That's bullshit. Garbage day. All right, let's run. Stop that. No. See, all you gotta do is just run around like a lunatic. You'll just make all this money? I haven't solved a single fucking murder. And I'm doing alright. 
You just gotta walk around and look for things and just examine all the data. Oh, what's this? Oh, man. Hi. I didn't do that. Someone just broke your candy, though. Hey, you should go inspect that and find out what it... Oh, okay. He's standing there to make sure I don't do that. All right, well. That's fine. Apparently going to the bathroom is forbidden. Oh, what's this say? Ah. Uh. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, see, it's just a little bit of law. You just have to become the law and be the law and do law stuff. It's not that hard. Oh, excuse me. It seems like a very relevant note. Uh-huh. 6543, huh? All right. And that's the, that's the key to back there? Okay. Got it. Understood. Did he see me? Did he see me? Did he see me? Oh, that, that camera did. Shit. I thought he saw me. Hello, Mr. Train. Thanks for driving through. Alright, I'm gonna run. Oh, boy. But I tell you what, guys. I got some other things I want to do this evening. So if you don't mind, this is a fine time to kill this stream and end it for now. Thanks for upvoting if you did. Thanks for just watching if you did that. And thanks for lurking. I appreciate you guys for coming on and checking us out and... If you ever want to see me again, uh, WBPL76 on Mondays, here on Tuesdays, unless things change, but I'll let you know. We're working on the Hunchback and we're thinking late summer, early fall, at current rate, perhaps sooner. So thank you guys for uh, checking us out, checking out the BPL, and for hanging around. Remember, it's not really crime, per se. It's just, you know, ensuring my job is, of course, very secure. <laughs> Very, very secure. So thank you all very much. And I appreciate you guys very much. So thank you. Alright, see you guys later.